Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with another of uh, LEGO Star Wars Summer 2021 review, and this one is on the Bad Batch Shuttle, of course. So on the front of the box here, see a picture of the set in action with the two speeders down below. Bang. And also, you see that interesting border that is kind of just about like the border with other sets we've gotten over the last couple years, but this time around has three of the bunch indicating that it's the Bat Batch, which I do see, which I do think we'll probably see on other sets down the line. But yeah. And then down below have all six figs included, Disney logo and recommended ages is nine and up. Set number seven five three one four has nine hundred sixty nine pieces. And then flip to the back, you see everything in resting position and the features of it. Lego.com, of course, and yeah. And on to the instruction manual, which same picture as on the front of the box and everything. And on the back, kind of win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set. Three pages. Add for the Skywalker Saga game. And then out of all the minifigs included in this current wave and add for some current and last year's Clone Wars sets, of course. And then the last building steps. So now for the minifigs, we would have Pretty much all five members of the Bat Batch, including a Gonk droid, of course. So, for each of the five members, there's we which have Echo and Hunter, Tech, uh, Wrecker. And crosshair, and all their torso prints, prints molded in both black, light gray, and metallic gray, or metallic dark gray, of course. But and whereas with Wrecker, his helmet, of which about this pretty much reused of the current Iron Man ones, but done pretty nicely, and although the rest of which kind of similar to previous clone troopers, but. At least nice to have as well, and whereas as for say, so hang on for Echo here, of which interesting one is that side arm printing, which is starting to get more common nowadays. But wonder if it means a sign of more things, figs with that yet to come, and. As in the course, as Tech of which all new helmet piece, which goes over his nice face print with the goggle prints, like he does in the show, of course. And also, as I lift up all their helmets and reveal all their face prints, and whereas for Hunter and Tech, do have the their own hair pieces. You see Mr. Krebel's hair piece, but in dark brown and usual hair piece for uh, Hunter, of course. And they do work out well, and all their face prints, of which done pretty well, and also well capture their appearances from the show. And whereas for Echoes, of which, how one hand is a regular minifig hand, of course, when, although if you see the show, then he, which has a unique kind of hand piece to access with the droids access. Although I think they could have made a new piece for that, just like they did with Azog the Defiler in the Hobbit line, of course. And if you look on the back of which, see all their back torso prints and echoes of which uh, done pretty well, which I, although I think it could have gone all the way around, kind of like the recent Lobot did. Maybe that'd be a little too much, but yeah. Oops. And whereas for both Hunter and Tech of which have only ones with alternate face prints. 
let's end where at the end. Now then, as for this whole minifig selection, quite great to have all five members included at once. Although, although it would have been alright if they went like the Knights of Ren and the Hobbit Dwarves did were included in different sets, but at least it's still nice to get all together in one set, but of course, although I think in terms of other things, I think maybe instead of a gonk droid, could have gotten like uh, Omega, since he's an important part of the show. But, but besides, we'll probably get her in another sets down the line. And also there are, of course, multiple different troopers that are kind of the same as Crosshair, which we'll probably see in other sets as well. But yeah. And that is it with the figs. And so now on to the main builds, or I mean, there's just a couple of side builds with the set. Is this little speeder, a witch? And if you're wondering, wait, is does this look kind of familiar at all? Well, actually, yes, because it's actually the same, exact same as this, as the one that came in the Final First Troopers set last year, and. As you see, just a little color swap instead of blue, regular blue, it's in black. That's black. And also dark blue seat rather than a black seat. And also not only guns put on to it, and also the uh, nose part of it instead of a whole single piece and just two separate pieces. So kind of weird how it is. So double dip, not like I wanted to, just the way it worked out. But I'm sure a lot of you double dipped on, or multiple double dipped on this one, obviously, for army building. But besides that, it's this one common trend that I've often seen, like they did a long time ago, where take the exact same build in different sets with no changes at all, but instead of, but now instead with a color swap, of course. Well, except for the droids in the or X-Wings in The Force Awakens. Oh wait, there is actually one little difference of that, where there's the gap part of it instead of jumper studs. Well, of which kind of good, so at least there's a tiny bit of repetition, bit of difference, but yeah. And I guess that is it with this one bike here. And onto of what is not copied is this other speeder bike. Which, as you can see, does have plenty of good lime green added to it, and those things used from classic space lines have done pretty well, which I haven't seen in quite some time, but nice to see here, and also the front part, which done pretty well, and also it's all good super swooshing, of course, and some odd lightsaber hilts there, of course, as extra greebles, and also the same kind of quarter bracket piece used down below. I have a couple engines aside with one of those special pieces there, and also rounded pieces as well, of course, and looking on the side, do you have some of them quarter pieces with also one of those corner plate pieces done pretty nicely, and also a little clip on the back, probably to put a blaster on to or something. And also four studs to sit a fig on to, and of course the friend's handlebar piece for that. But besides that, a quite good build for a small set. Small one. And now onto the main part of it, the Bat Batch Butt Shuttle itself. Uh, a quite good build and quite neat design to it. Although a lot of you have often complained that it's just in dark uh, sand blue rather than dark gray. Although I'd be alright if it was dark gray, but I think the sand blue kind of works out as well. Probably to help indicate that they're still Republic, or, or of course, yeah. And although blue kind of stood out on most old time TIE Fighter sets, well, same with the 2016 TIE Striker. But, although, I think I, but, uh, besides that, I can truly live with the sand blue, which, whereas for the front part of which, is 
does have a few jagged slopes in the corner, bricks of which, and some good snot down below. And also this front dome piece, which does open up to reveal well, a couple of seats to sit them in. And uh, let me move the wing down. And as you see, it has a quite large, interesting uh, wing piece, uh, which is kind of similar to that of like Palpatine's shuttle from 2010. And also get a whole lot of those pieces in sand blue, of which good for mock making. And also, as for the wings of it, as you see, which do are built pretty well with the whole ton of corner plates, of course, and also Nexo Knight's shields there, and not much below. And, and if you look from the back, as you see, is good use of these pieces, in, but with a sticker on. And there's quite a few stickers in this set, and also a couple extra rod pieces, but just acting as extra blasters, of course. There's, and if look from the bottom, not at all any landing gear, because if you see this thing in the show or in the last season of Clone Wars as well, then you know that it does have some special landing gear that comes out from on here, but although I think that could have been around instead of the uh, speeder bikes, just a thought. And also you get the like clear blue plate acting as the thrust for the end of the course. Oh, also down below are of course two spring load launchers, just but upside down, you can, you can tap and they fire like so, obviously. Although, they do kind of flick off a little bit too easily since of their radio, you know, but whatever. And if hold it down, and then there it is in its like flight mode. Oh, which looking still quite cool like that. And uh, let me put these up. And if you pull on this, and it all comes right off. So you have the cockpit from before, and also a few studs for that plate to connect on to, of course. There's and also do get a special seating area, and can like lift right up with that clip area. And of course, a little extra space probably to fit your blasters in. And also do get a couple of curved slopes with a couple of stickers on them. One with a pair of venators on there, which probably in which I think indicates say maybe another Venator in the future, possibly, not sure though, but yeah. And also one with a clone gunner helmet on it as well, of course. But at least it's kind of sits around all or at least most of the members on, of course, and yeah. And also, some already right use of the Technic uh, pins used for the plate for the uh, outer shooters, but yeah. And so now, on to uh, the final verdict. So overall, this I think is a pretty good set for it, what for what it is, and also good for ent first entry for Bat Batch sets, of course. Well, and also great that all five members were included in this. But yeah, although the Gonk Droid may have been I mean, kind of random to throw in, but whatever. Although I think a hundred bucks kind of pricey for it. Well, if it weren't for the two speeder bikes, well. If I were Lego, I think maybe not include the speeder bikes and have it just as is, but at least the lime green one's kind of a keeper, but yeah. But although, uh, you know, it may have been complained that it's not dark gray, but 
At least, I can live with the sand blue, but if this ever got remade, I would be alright with the sand, or with the dark blue, of course, or with the dark gray, obviously. And so now, also kind of odd that there wasn't a, like, a seating area for Omega, because, although I'm sure she'll be in other sets later, and yeah. And so now if you're looking to get this set for your Clone Wars collection, definitely pick this up. And if you're looking to start your collection of Bad Batch sets, of the Bad Batch sets, also definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.